to do um, a what my kid got for Christmas video but I want it to be a video of the things they got for Christmas I'll also be doing a video of um, my teenage daughters myself and my husband of our top five favorite gifts but my six-year-old was a little heavy on the toys and he couldn't pick five things so I decided to do um, a separate video for him and these are great I love watching these videos because we can get ideas for um, a kid's birthday or for a special occasion or a treat or even for next Christmas because some of the things that we received are things that have been out for a while um, he has opened some of his gifts so I may have to insert some pictures if there's something that um, I feel like he might be interested in that he's already playing with um, but I'll show you I do want to say um, just as I appear on a lot of videos I don't feel like I need to do a disclaimer but I do want to say that um, at Christmas time um, I do tend to um, get my kids a lot um, which is a blessing to be able to do so um, I don't gift them a lot during the year, but even if I did, that would be okay if that's what I wanted to do. Um, but they do get things for their birthday and um, back to school. And during Christmas, I really like to um, kind of spoil them. They're also wonderful kids. And um, I know that this has been a particularly hard year for a lot of people. A lot of people are still going through it. It hasn't been... Um, all sunshine and roses for us either. We've been affected by the things that have happened this year. Um, actually, my daughter graduated from high school and we had a big family cruise planned. So we, we canceled, had to cancel all of our vacations this year. And so I really felt like this Christmas that I wanted to do a little bit, just a little bit more for my babies. And they are my babies, even though they're big. So, um, I am going to show you what um, my six-year-old son got for Christmas. His name is Dylan. He's six. He will be seven in April. Um, I did keep back some things for his birthday because I realized um, he didn't have a lot. Um, but I'm going to show you the majority of his gifts and a few that I do want to mention that I'll probably put a picture in um, if if I need to mention that gift and he's opened it, I don't have it here, but I think it's something you like, I'll put it in here. Everything that I can, I will link below um, so that you can see if it's still available. And if you have a birthday for a special little boy or a little girl, because everything that I got here could be either for a boy or a girl. Um, and uh, you will be able to surprise them or make them happy with any of the things that I have here. So. I'm going to get started, and um, the first thing I have is this um, Mario, this plush Mario. Dylan has become obsessed with Super Mario. They received a Switch, I believe, last Christmas, um, and he loves Super Mario games, and he likes plushies. So when I saw this Mario, um, I picked it up for him, and he absolutely loves um, his stuffies and this Mario came from Walmart and it was I think $14.88 and I'm, I'm really good with remembering prices so I will probably be able to tell you exactly how much everything costs because uh, I'm a shopper and I'm a bargain shopper so um, I should be able to tell you every, the prices on everything alright the next thing I have um, are the 12 days of socks um, I started buying my girls um, 12 days or 15 days of socks about two Christmases ago and they absolutely love them and Dylan was a little smaller he was about four and so we didn't do it so this year I'm gonna put my glasses on guys so this year decided to buy him 12 days of socks and as you can see he's already started them so um, if you haven't seen these these are awesome um, gifts and I think one of my daughters is going to share her 12 days of socks as one of her favorite gifts um, my 18 year old daughter Gabby received 12 days of socks for the office she loves the show the office 
and my middle child, Layla, who's 14, loves Harry Potter. And so she got Harry Potter socks. So Dylan, I found these Super Mario 12 Days of Socks. And um, he is actually on day six. He didn't, he's supposed to kind of bust through the each day, but he didn't know what to do. So he was opening it and pulling them out. So I showed him a much more fun way was to open the socks. And every day there's a different pair of socks for the character. These came from Target. And this set of socks, they sometimes are kind of expensive, um, in my opinion, but maybe not to someone else. But these were $14.99 for this pack of 12 days of socks. But it's worth it because it's not a toy. Um, the kids enjoy opening a new sock each day. And they're reusable. They're socks. So um, we'll enjoy these before the dryer begins to eat them because the dryer eats socks in case you guys didn't know. All right. So the next thing he got, he opened was this Power Ranger sword. I got this for him from Walmart. He loves Power Rangers um, and it makes noises. We have it turned off. Um, my daughter said I bought him too many things that make noise. So when we move, it makes different noises. So he absolutely loves this. So this sword was a bit pricey in my opinion. This was $20 from Walmart. It was $19.99. Um, the next gift I got him was something that he didn't ask for, but I thought was very cool. Um, I saw on someone else's video a uh, uh, fun forts and so I googled fun forts and um, I got many different forts that came up so I purchased this DIY forts and what they do is they take these rods and little balls and they can build different kinds of forts um, and I don't know if you you're able to see on the back the different kinds of forts that this sweet little girl has built but he is super excited about this. We don't have a ton of empty space for him to do this, but he'll probably be able to do it in, in our family room. And he told me that this was one of his top five gifts. He's very excited about this. He hasn't opened it yet, but I know that we're going to have a lot of fun with this because he loves doing this kind of stuff. Um, this was $24.99 from Amazon. And I'll try to link these below. They were sold out because my sister wanted to get a set for her little um, kids and this particular one was sold out but DIY forts had other sets with uh, different numbers of pieces the one I have is 216 pieces and it says for ages three and up so they do have other ones so I'll try to find that and link it for you um, the next thing he got were two Nintendo Switch games um, I tried to on his birthday or a special occasion to get him a couple of Switch games. And the two he got was Battle for Bikini Bottom. He loves Spongebob. There's not much that he doesn't love. Um, and then Luigi's Mansion. He's wanted this one for a while. But it's been so expensive. Uh, we just don't really want to pay $60 for a game. Um, and so I think we got this on an early Black Friday special for... Um, no, actually, I bought it on Black Friday for $35, and so I was like, okay, $60 for $35, I can do that. The SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom game was $29.99, so um, that's not cheap, but he loves the Nintendo Switch, and he's already been playing these. Um, I'll get this big one here. Um, this was another big gift he got. We bought him a keyboard. This was actually in the toy section at Walmart. His older sister has a keyboard and she will not let him play with it. Um, and so he did not ask for a keyboard, but I know that every time she plays hers, he wants to play it. And so we bought this for him from Walmart. It was in the toy section and I paid $24.99 for this keyboard. Um, he's already opened it, it's out of the package and it is by Technobeat. And um, I'll try to link that if they have a link for it. But I did purchase this in the store. And he's already um, had some fun with this. So that was a great gift for him. Um, okay, let's go to this side. Um, Uno Attack. I got him Uno Attack. He loves to 
play Uno. Um, he loves Uno, but his little hands um, can hardly hold the Uno card sometimes, which reminds me of a gift that I didn't bring to show you, but I will link it. It's called a card holder, and I will put a picture um, up either on one of these sides for you. I don't know which one. But um, actually, I saw on someone else's stocking stuffer video um, of a little card holder where your little kids can put their cards in it and hold because his little hands, he always has to lay his cards out and everybody can see what is in his hand. So we used it the other day when we played Mario Uno um, and it was amazing. It was so much. It was great. And it was, I think it was like five bucks from Walmart. So I'll put a picture of that up there. But Uno Attack, um, this is just another take on Uno. I've always kind of wanted us to have this. We love playing games in our family. We have family game nights often, and we have a closet full of games. Um, so Uno Attack is just another take on Uno. I think it shoots cards out at you. So we can't wait to try this um, on our next family game night, which maybe tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So we may open it. Um, and this Uno Attack game was $14.99. And I bought it from Walmart. All right, let's see. Okay, so this big old puppy here. Um, this is Cento's Scented Joe. Um, Dylan likes Play-Doh. He doesn't love Play-Doh. He's not in love with Play-Doh, and he did not ask for this. I know you're like, oh, what did he ask for? He asked for actually three things. Um, that Santa brought, and I'll share those three things with you. Um, but this is Cento's Scented Dough. It comes with, I think this is, oh my gosh, 45 pieces. I don't think there are 45 Play-Doh packs. There are actually 22 tubs of different Play-Doh, and then uh, four rollers, six stampers, four tools, five punchers and all of that. So he can use these different tools to um, make different things with the Play-Doh and it's actually not Play-Doh, but it's scented dough. And so what's cool about this is that the dough is scented and um, you get a lot of it. And I only paid $14 for this big Play-Doh pack. And so this will probably be one of the last things he opens up. I'm not ready for him to open this up yet. So, yeah, I, pun I punish myself every year by buying this kind of stuff. <laughs> so the next thing I got him were um, is this little um, classic set of Legos. He has received a set of Legos maybe two Christmases ago. He loves making things and building Legos. Um, last year I bought him the um, the Lego plates where you build different things so he has a couple of those and he loves to build things so i just got this little set just to add like to his legos because um i don't know if any of you mamas out there have ever stepped on a lego i'm about to cry right now talking about it my neck hurts so when I step on Legos or I see Legos on the floor, they go in the trash. So, Mama bought him a little Lego box to replace some of the Legos that he's lost and then I've thrown away. And so I did purchase this from Amazon and it was $13. So, um, and some of you might be saying, oh wait, she's gone way over whatever my budget was. Um, I don't typically give myself a budget for Christmas shopping. I start very, very early. And I'm going to tell you this. I always lie to myself and say, I started early and I'm done. So I found that the earlier I start, the more things that I buy. So I'm working on that for next year. I will not do that next year. Um, however, I do get things, you know, on sale or at a bargain. I don't really set a budget. I just kind of track everything I buy and I say, okay, that's it. I'm not buying anymore. I actually buy things to take them back also before Christmas. That's just what I do. All right, so let's keep trucking. Okay, so the next thing I got him were these Dogman books. Um, he loves Dogman. If the funniest thing to me is to listen to him in his room reading this, and he gets so 
it's the tickle. He tick he just tickles himself to death. So um he's actually read the dog man and cat kid, but he doesn't own it. And he wanted to own it, so he asked for this one. He has not read um Fetch 22. So I got this one. I found both of these books at Marshall's. They were seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. So yes. Each. Each book was $7.99. Little Lego creator set. Um, I have bought him these creator sets in the past and he just wasn't ready. He gets frustrated. So I decided this year that I'd give him another chance. He asked for Lego Ninjago um, creator sets and I did buy him a couple of those. One said four and up and one said seven and up. The four and up he put together with no problem. The seven and up he got very frustrated and wanted to quit, which tells me he's not quite ready. So I don't think I'm going to let him open this um lego set yeah i may save it make let him open it after his birthday or sometime during the summer and just let him do the the free building with his regular legos because he gets a little frustrated and leaves steps and i don't want to build legos <laughs> but i do help him with it and i try to get him to be patient but um yeah he's not that patient so um i think i'm going to save this one this is a lego creator three in one so this is these are the lego sets that you can build three things this one you can build um an airplane um or is that um a helicopter if it has propellers on the front no that's a that's an airplane helicopters have propellers on the top oh but you can build a, a helicopter um and then you can build a plane that doesn't have the propellers so you can build three different things with these so you get kind of a three in one so this was at Kohl's and I got this on sale before Christmas. It was like $7.99 on sale at Kohl's. Um, I don't think that I can, I'll try to link it. They may still have it, but it, I'm quite sure it won't be $7.99. All right, moving on. This is um, a racing car that you can take together, uh, take together, that you can take apart and put back together. It's ages three and up. This is um, a car that we saw on special at Walmart, probably way before Thanksgiving. Um, I think it was about $12 and it was on sale and I will try to link this too, um, but I don't know if you can see this either, but it comes with a little um, play drill, the hood, the top of the car, the fender, the wheels, little nuts and bolts that you can take the car apart and put it back together. So I thought that he would enjoy that. I'm not sure he will or not, but um, he was really excited to get it. Um, but I think if you have a little one who likes to put things together and take them apart, this would be so, um, so fun. All right, I promise we're getting kind of to the end. Um, the next thing I got him was this game called Drone Home. Um, I looked at it. The reviews were great. I think what you're supposed to do um, is be the first one to get your alien home and you're not supposed to make the drone fly. I'm not sure. It says launch your alien and knock the others out of the drone. So we'll see. It looks like a ton of fun. Um, I haven't let him open this yet, partly because I wanted to do this video and we're, we'll, we're saving it for our next family game night. This was $12.99 from Walmart. And um, again, a lot of this stuff was on sale, so I'll, I'll try to link it, but it may not be $12.99. $12 so this is um, a really cool gift. I'm so excited about this. I didn't let him open it because I wanted to do this video. This is um, Smith, by the Smithsonian, and it is a STEM toy. Um, and I'm an educator by trade. I know a lot of this stuff isn't educational, but he has lots of educational toys. Um, but this is a glow in the dark solar system that you hang, you can hang these planets from their ceiling. And it kind of looks like this on the back and it glows in the dark. Um, it's 3D. So they are actual objects that hang. It charges with any light. Um, and it glows in full spectrum color and the planets glow super bright. That is the um, description. And it says um, ages eight and up. He's six. 
fix, but I thought that this would be fine because this is not something that your kid will actually play with. You'll hang it in their room and when they turn the lights out, um, the whole solar system will glow. So we're excited about getting this up and I'm pushing it and they are, um, it's hard, hard plastic. I found this at Marshall's for $14.99. all on this side um he wanted me to share these with you this was um <laughs> a set of ninja swords it came with these two what did he tell me these were called Layla katanas i think he said mom these are called katanas so it came with two katanas two daggers and a little um thing that goes on his back that the swords go in so it was really cool it was cheap this was $8.97 at walmart um, these were, it's by Adventure Force. I love Adventure Force brand, but um, it has a little harness for him to put the swords in and whip out like a ninja. So um, he loves swords. I bought him a little sword from Dollar Tree and that thing is so beat up, but he loves it. So I thought he would enjoy these. Um, and I have just a few more things. I'm going to show you. Um, okay, this was something cool i bought him a bow and arrow from five below last year and he lost all the little bows or he broke it so um and i'm gonna insert a picture of this because the other part of this we set this out on christmas morning we put it together and set it out so he could see it immediately so the other part the target that goes with this is outside um in the garage because this is for outside play but um this toy came with a target that stands up and um, a bow he can put the um arrows on his back and uh he loves absolutely loves this toy i don't know um in the south we have a store called bilk and um this was a black friday special from bilk so i got this whole set with the standing target that we had to put together for $24. Um, I will see if they still have it in Lincoln, even though you don't, you may not have a belt in your town. They do have an online store. And um, so he loves his bow and arrow. He wanted, this was a top five toy for him. And I have just a few more things. Um, okay, so I bought him I love Discovery, the Discovery line of toys. They tend to be educational, um, most of them. Um, this one isn't really educational, but I kind of think of it as um, motor skills, refining motor skills and focusing and um, that, like that. So this is the Hungry T-Rex game. So what you do is um, you set the T-Rex up and there's this little um pop gun with these little foam balls that you shoot into his mouth and every time you shoot one you get points um so i bought this actually i found one at marshall's that was a polar bear and i bought that but my baby loves dinosaurs and so i saw this again on the bilk website on black friday and um, I ordered it for him and it was uh, $14.99. So he's going to have a blast when we open this. Um, so I'm excited about, about that. And, okay. These are super cool. These are boosters, bouncing boots. Um, and so they're, uh, to me, I always want to moon shoes for some reason maybe we had something called moon shoes when i was younger but hey but anyway these are called boosters bouncing boots and these are boots that you put on your feet and you can just bounce with them um you see the little boy who's so happy happily bouncing i'm not sure that dylan will be that happy i'm afraid he might fall on these but it was just different than getting a bike or a scooter. He got a scooter last year and he has a bike that he barely rides, but this is something where he can get a little exercise. Um, he's put on a few quarantine pounds, so he needs some exercise. 
So I thought these would be so cool. Um, they are rubber. Uh, they have rubber gripper soles, secure ankle closure system. So um, the, it fits shoe sizes in the U.S. A size is three to six. So these might be a tad big for him because he's in like a size two. So that just means that he can wear them longer. Um, so yeah, he's very, he said that this and the forts were, and the socks were like two of his favorite gifts. So these came actually from Walmart. I ordered these from walmart.com and they were $29.99. Now, they had these on Black Friday for $15, and I was planning on buying them for Black Friday, and I really wanted them, and things were just so sold out. Their, their website crashes on Black Friday, so I bought these at the regular price with the intention of purchasing them on Black Friday and then taking these back. That didn't happen, so I just kept these, and I'm glad I did because he loves them. Alright, so um, coming down on the end, so I got him these three. He got lots of books for Christmas, um, some dinosaur books, but um, these I thought were so cool. These are also by Smithsonian, and these are called Timeline Science Books. So I got him Timeline, Timeline Science Space Exploration timeline science dinosaurs which he loves and he loves outer space and then timeline science ice age so when i saw these if you open these up there's a book about the topic which this is about the ice age there are pictures and facts and then what's so cool about this book is that um, it comes with reusable stickers and it comes with a model for them to build. So in this book, he gets to build a woolly mammoth. This is so cool. So he is he absolutely loved this. And so that was the space, um, excuse me, the ice age. The dinosaur comes with a book. You can see. Um, also gets the reusable stickers. And he gets to build a T-Rex. So you can see the little pieces. It's going to be a little six-inch thing, but he gets to build that. And he is going to just have so much fun with that. He was so excited about these. And then the Timeline Science for Space, um, he gets to build a rocket. Same thing with the stickers and the book about space. Now, what is so awesome about these is I paid $3.99 for each one of these books. Oh my God! I paid $3.99. We have an awesome closeout store called Ollie's. So if you have an Ollie's in your um, town and you haven't visited it, you are doing yourself a great injustice. They have awesome toys. They have books starting at $0.99. Cent. I bought so many books from Ollie's for my um, graphic novels, comic books, starting at $0.99 cent all the way to $10. But these brand new, these were $4 each, so I couldn't leave these. I got all three. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Layla, will you give me that? So I'm going to show you the last thing. Um, this, I couldn't reach it. This was on his... Um, Christmas list to Santa, and this is Ryan's. Every time I say that, I just kind of like, Ugh. he loves Ryan. So hopefully we're moving out of the Ryan phase. But the only three things he asked for for Christmas were um, this Ryan Super Spy Mystery Spy Case. That's a suitcase, and he's opened it. And I have to admit, it was it was it was kind of cool. But y'all, this was so expensive and because he asked for it i bought it this was 59 dollars <laughs> but this he asked for this the other thing he asked for and in here is um just some spy stuff he has to do the secret code to open it um uh i mean it doesn't do 
really do anything, guys. But Ryan made it, so. I mean, there's some spy glasses in here, and I probably did some silly putty, because that's what's always in these things. Um, so it makes me cringe to say it. I can't stand by it, but this is what he asked for. Um, he also asked for the Ryan Super Spy Mystery Vault that's safe. That's a safe um, that has spy things in it. That one was a bit cheaper. I will link both of them down below. And I didn't bring the safe because he had it open with all the little junk out. The third thing he asked for was a drone. Um, and he's just a little bit too young for that. But we found one of those little hand things at Walmart that you put your hand under it and it will fly around we played with it on christmas and it's out of control he can't even do that so that was like 14 dollars from walmart so um the last thing he got was uh an echo dot and uh he loves talking to alexa um and i'll put a picture of it but we got it from amazon um so yeah those are the main things that he got for Christmas. Um, I know this may seem like a lot to some people and maybe not a lot to others, but this is what, what we got him. He's a, he's a great boy and he loves to play with toys. He plays with everything. Um, so yeah, this is what we got him. So um, if you're new here, if you're still with me, um, click like subscribe um, and click the notification bell. Um, I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. We, um, I had taken a break. Um, I started a little while ago and took a break, was doing some travel videos. And so I think I'm ready to come back. So um, I have a great little family. We have fun. We like to laugh. We like to play. Um, we're faith-filled people. And so, um, if you want to check out some of the content that we're going to have, go ahead and click like. We won't be sorry. We want you to subscribe, click the notification bell, join us. We'll have, we're going to have shopping hauls, um, lifestyle things, um, self-care. Um, yeah, and I'll tell you all about our family. So, if you're interested, then stay tuned.